How's it going gamers another day another video and in this one I'm going to show you how to do the numbers event pathetically easy um, on Warzone because it is it's just stupidly easy now I'm seeing a lot of people on social media are complaining that this is really really difficult you need Cold War um, this that and the other you know you can do it in two hours three hours on Cold War but you actually need that to have a chance of being able to complete this that's a lot of absolute crap it's bs you can do this in one match on warzone it's just finding the right formula and the right way of doing it now to complete this event we've got different signal mass trucks comms trucks if you will scattered throughout Verdansk, and you've got to be within the vicinity of that comms truck as soon as its signal starts pumping out whatever message it's pumping out as soon as you intercept that signal that's it, you've got it. Uh, you've got a checklist as soon as you press the touchpad on PlayStation 4, for example. You'll have a little checklist next to your map and things like that, you know, which areas you've been in, which ones you haven't, yada, yada, yada. Um, so in this one, I'm going to show you how to get all your emblems, all your crappy calling cards, and then eventually, uh, Raphael's side <laughs> uh, is a melee weapon. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, first off, one of the easiest ways of doing this is in solos or duos um, I just find it a lot easier in them two game modes trios and quads you've got them extra um, squad members you know they're, they're no longer sneaking around everywhere everyone's just running and gunning people working as a team yada 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 now one thing you've got to watch out for is there's a hell of a lot of players now who've already done this event and they know the majority of people who are landing are landing on these comm towers these comm trucks like goddamn lemmings you'll get like eight or ten players landing on a Com truck all of them trying to activate the thing while they're all trying to kill each other and on, if that isn't active and you get killed you're going straight in the gulag and you're going to miss it i'm approaching the one near barnyard now i'm not landing on it because i'm not a fucking idiot i'm landing within its proximity eventually whoever ends up you know winning the flipping little fucking pistol gunfight they're all having now at the comms truck he's going to activate it for us you know so as soon as he does that you're going to intercept that broadcast and as soon as you start hearing them numbers boom you've got it that's it you don't need to wait for the sequence to stop you don't need to stay in the area or anything like that as soon as you hear this guy chatting his crap yeah get out of that area and move towards the next one um one of your best bets is to either land on a helicopter and then just start flying around the map to these places or land on a vehicle uh, usually you know you want to go for the one that is outside of the circle because obviously that one's going to be getting covered up first so any of these that are outside the circle you want to land in its vicinity not on it you know there's going to be buildings around it there's going to be this that and the other little landmarks or whatever where you can drop get loot and you know wait for this this broadcast to end once it has move on to the next zone and just it's just basically that with a rinse and repeat um, obviously, you know, there are people out there finding it difficult and I suspect a lot of it, lot of it is because they're trying to land on the comms truck, win the gunfight and then obviously hear the numbers, something you do not have to do. And like I say, you've got a lot of people who've already cottoned on to this, they've already done this event and they know there's a hell of a lot of people out there who are struggling with it. They're landing within these vicinities as well and just absolutely murdering everybody near them constructs. So at the end of the day, that's how you do That's That's it. That's just simply it. Just land within its vicinity and uh, you'll get the broadcast. As soon as you've got the broadcast, that's that. When it actually comes to this numbers event itself, this has to be the worst event that they've put on yet. It just goes to show how completely out of touch with the community Raven Software still is to this day. They, these people have no idea what the fuck they are doing. All right, let me explain. So we've already had an event where Vidansk is going to get blown up by nuclear missiles. A week prior to that, we've got nuclear bombs flying over Verdansk airspace, airspace, left, right and centre, and they've got that many flying around, you could probably destroy Earth six times over, right? And these things aren't quiet, they are absolutely hurtling, you can hear the engines, you can hear them breaking through the freaking sound barrier, the community went wild, you know, like, what the hell are you playing at? We're trying to play one of the most adrenaline pumping, competitive game mods going. Battle Royale. Last thing you need to hear is this shit. 23. 9. 8. 14. 22. 5. 18. Enemy UAV overhead. 
Eight. Safe. You lost the enemy trackers. Seven. Eleven. Fourteen. Just closing in. Mark the base. Twelve. Station. Three. Zero. Now the reason why that is the last goddamn thing you want to hear in a battle royale game is because of this, quite simply. I'm now in Barnyard, right? And I am free to travel from Barnyard to train station without having to listen to that crap again. However, anybody who's landed, say, prison, farmyard, lumber, airport, military base, on and on and on, Right? As this circle starts to push, if this circle now comes to train yard and comes to barnyard and that's where the end game's going to be, all of these people that are left over that haven't been in this area, they're going to have to listen to that. And while they're listening to it, I can hear them running around the map. So I've got an edge over all of them, yeah? especially when this is an end game thing. You're coming into that circle end game and you start having that crap pumping out, you can't hear anything else other than this guy chatting absolute cod shit about numbers. You know, I mean, yeah, we get it. It was a big thing in Modern Warfare 2, right? But just because Raven Software have got absolute zero imagination, yeah, because they've got no idea how to pull off a gaming event anymore, you know, all the ideas they did have, they've been and gone, right? We're getting this now, and it needs to stop. You need to stop putting in separate pieces of audio for events and things like that that are going to interfere with, like I say, an extremely adrenaline-pumping competitive game mod like Battle Royale. It's as simple as that. So this event is just crap. It takes you a few minutes to complete it. Um, you know, you can do it in one round. The thing's going on for two weeks. Where you end up landing, it's an absolute kill box. Uh, especially, you know, for people who haven't done this before. They're getting absolutely murdered in these zones. And then, obviously, you know, you need to move into an area. And you've not listened to that broadcast in that one match. Yeah, then at the end of the day, you know, you're going to end up with this crap blurring out. It would have been a hell of a lot easier to turn the audio right down for it. And as soon as you've been on the area once during this entire event, you don't have to listen to this crap ever again. Um, it would just be that easier. Um, so that's the video anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope it did help you. If it did, hit that like button and don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel. We do videos all the time covering Warzone, all sorts of things, playthroughs, hints, tips, reviews, walkthroughs, you name it. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching and as always, good gaming out there.